While race is certainly a major theme in Get Out, the film is also a commentary on a broader societal issue, the exploitation and commodification of black bodies. The idea that black people are seen as in fashion and desirable for their perceived physical attributes is a form of objectification that has been present throughout history, and the film uses this concept to create a haunting and unsettling horror story. Black people are reduced to mere objects of desire rather than being seen as fully realized human beings. Black is in fashion speaks to the idea that blackness is seen as a fleeting trend rather than a fundamental aspect of a person's identity. This is a powerful critique of the way that black people are often commodified and exploited in popular culture. Also, many people claim to not see color, but this can often be a way of ignoring the very real and important cultural differences that exist between people of different races. The use of hypnosis in Get Out is a fascinating aspect of the film that adds an extra layer of tension and unease to the story. Chris is subjected to a form of hypnosis that is used to control his behavior and manipulate his thoughts. This hypnosis is used by the white family members in order to steal the bodies of black people and use them for their own purposes. The use of hypnosis in Get Out is a clever way of exploring the idea of control and manipulation. By placing Chris under hypnosis, the family members are able to exert total control over his mind and body making him do things that he would never do under normal circumstances. This is a powerful metaphor for the way that not only black people are often treated in society, with their thoughts and actions being controlled and manipulated by those in power. The hypnosis theme in Get Out is also a nod to classic horror films like The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which also explored the concept of mind control and manipulation. By incorporating this theme into the film, Jordan Peele is paying homage to the horror genre while also using it to comment on contemporary issues of race and power. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our podcast. Take care, and please don't forget to subscribe.